Hello everybody, Driven by Mars 15 is out and it brings some new features for the machine series, especially for these models who have a plug for connecting uh, foot switches. A word of warning first, the version 15 of Driven by Mars requires Bitwig 4.1. If you're on a Bitwig site for Reaper, you can just use it. And Bitwig 4.1 is only out in beta, so this requires the beta version. But I just wanted to release it to enable you to test out already the new features. So let's get started. So something I totally overlooked is uh, that we have much more features here on the plug connector than I expected because it's only one plug, but you can use two foot switches with that one connector. What you need for that is something like here, the Boss FS6. So a foot switch, which provides you two switches uh, on such a stereo cable. So second thing you need is also a stereo cable and you can find out that the stereo cable has these two markers here. So that's the difference. And there is a signal here on a tip and there is one here on the ring. And that's also in the settings. One is called tip and one is called ring foot switch. Yeah, so you can use actually two foot switches with this only one connector here on the Machine Mark III. And this is supported on the Machine Mark III, the Machine Plus. And the studio also has another additional connector. So if you check out here the studio, the white one, it has even two foot switch connectors and they are both stereo. So for them, you can use two of such switches like the boss. You can also use other models. You don't have to use that one. And then you have even four foot switches, which allows you to control many, many things. So let's plug that in here. We have connected that. And what I did here, I put it to momentary. So we get a value on down press as well as on up. And here I put it also here in momentary and the polarity is just something to try out also depending on your model to what setting you need to have that. So we open the Bitwig settings and in Bitwig you will see here the controller settings for the Machine Mark III. And under workflow you see we have now the two foot switch settings. So one is the tip, so the tip signal coming in, the other one is the ring. And there you can choose from several commands, for example, let's say with one we want to toggle play on and off and with the other one for example let's go with tapping the tempo so let's check that out so having the foot switch here and i think that is the one i connected to play and that's actually true so we can start and stop playback and with that we can try now to tap the tempo and you will see also in a display tempo shows up here and we can change that as well. So working nicely, and as I said, if you have a studio, you can even connect another such a pair, and then you have four controls, and yeah, especially if you do recording or jamming around, this helps a lot. And I hope you enjoy Dig It and make some funky music.